Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make something like a clock face or a dial that has evenly spaced numbers embossed all the way around. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a sketch on this top work plane and I will create a center diameter circle. I'll make it 200 millimeters and then uh, what I need is to be able to create text on a path and if I try and create text on this circle uh, curve as the path that won't quite work but it would be great if I had just kind of an arc every so often uh, that I could use as my path and so that's what I'll do I'll create a three-point arc and I'll just do it out here because I'd rather use constraints to get it exactly how I want so one of the things I need is for the center point of the arc to be coincident with the center point of the circle and then uh, I'll also make the these two points horizontal from each other and then uh, I need some dimension between uh, these two so that it can uh, get closer to the outside there so I'll put 20 and then this distance the uh, the distance from here to here you know I, I don't I don't know that this calculation actually makes sense but if I do 360 divided by 12 it gives me some size that seems to work out you could probably put any arbitrary number there so uh, I will click on that arc and make it a construction line and then I want to uh, essentially pattern that all the way around in the, the 12 points so I'll do a circular pattern click on that curve and choose this as the center point I'll choose 12 of them and hit OK and now um, I should be able to create text on this path. This feature is only available if you've recently updated Fusion 360. So they just changed how um, text works. So you'll choose text on a path, choose the path, one of those curves, and then I'll put a, a number here, 12. And I'll choose 15 millimeters as the height of this text but I'll have to change a lot here. Um, I'll have to make this centered. I'll have to flip it this way and that way and say it should be above the line. And then I'll hit. Uh, so fit to path is, uh, th in that case, I think the, the distance between this 30 that I have would matter. But if I don't choose that, it'll just center it right in the middle. I'll hit OK. And unfortunately, I have to uh, do this again and it's a little time consuming at the moment because uh, you have to change all of those settings again. So hopefully soon they'll uh, make those sticky, but for now I'll have to click all of those same things. And I'll just keep doing that. So that's it. Once I've got my sketch here, uh, I can choose the extrude command and extrude down a bit to give me my clock face. And um, if the sketch is turned off, I can turn it back on. And the last thing to do is just emboss or um, deboss this text. So I'll choose the emboss command. And instead of uh, selecting each one of these uh, sketch profiles, which is each, which one of these numbers is a sketch profile at this point, I can choose the selection filter um, just for text selection and when I highlight that whole area it gets all 12 and I can choose the face that I'm interested in extruding from uh, and I'll just keep the two millimeter depth I'll keep it as emboss instead of deboss and when I hit OK I can hide the sketch and I've got my clock face now if you were interested in not having these uh, numbers look like they're on an arc uh, but be sort of evenly spaced on a line, I could just, in that first step, instead of making arcs here, I could have made a uh, line instead, going straight across, and pattern that around. And that'll have a different effect on the text, but in this case, uh, this works as a clock face, so I will keep it. That's it. Good luck.